Hodge move to the back row. Well, they've got very slick, intricate moves, but they've lost the ball. And here's Ireland. It must be another try. O'Driscoll, he's going to score his first try. Try for Brian O'Driscoll. He threw it, and again, it's uh, young Easterby who does it. Humphreys. Good thrusting run there by Henderson to the Scotland 22. In the case of mistaken identity there, the uh, Irish scrum half was whistled away Stringer, he didn't have the ball. However, there's an overlap here, the great chance for O'Driscoll, and O'Driscoll, the referee is asking his Dutch judge, and the try is given, and it is a splendid try. O'Driscoll, the scorer, his second try for Ireland in it. Rob Henderson with that tremendous run up the midfield, relishing the opportunity, so to O'Driscoll, and the centre... Tremendous try. Still in possession. Here's a try. And it's Brian O'Driscoll virtually under the post. Stringer. Ogara. Henderson again. Half through. Gets a good feed in. And it's O'Driscoll to score. What a try. And again, it's Brian O'Driscoll that keeps Ireland in the hunt. Back on the French 22. That's a great pick up. It could be a third. It's O'Driscoll again. On your feet, on your feet. Uh, Rob Henderson. As he did against Italy, busting his way through the midfield. Finally held by Richard Dorfner. But the momentum continues and there's O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll away. Goes for the corner. Garber goes to covers. And he's in. Brian O'Driscoll scores. The touch touch is flying. And there are injury worries emerging from this game, notably to Ian Bolshaw. The announcement on Phil Greening to come after the match, but before that, Henderson is trying to create another try, and this very impressive Scottish international, Simon Taylor, is revelling in this opportunity with the Lions, and the agony is almost too much to bear for Western Australian supporters. The Lions building on this position and O'Driscoll it's just the unlikely heroes I think Corey and Henderson who've really dominated this half Wilkinson a shining light in that first half and almost on cue O'Driscoll came through that's what he can do he can strike and the Lions start the second half, how they finish the first. Oh. Well, my feet have come off the ground now. That was absolutely brilliant. Wilkinson taking the ball flat, and this is good work from O'Driscoll. Back on the angle, beautiful presentation to Dawson, and here comes Quinnell. It's a fiery start from the Lions. Dawson again, Wilkinson. This side is O'Driscoll, and then it's back. They're switched on, aren't they? This is Robinson. Back to O'Driscoll. What a start from O'Driscoll. What a start from the British and Irish Lions. That is wonderful. A magical Lions moment, and the Waratahs are rocked. Well, there have been some critics in Australia saying, well, I'm not certain about O'Driscoll. Like that. Howley. Wilkinson wanting the ball, wanting to come flat. Henderson, O'Driscoll. Risking that. Bolshaw is on as well. So he's replaced Matt Perry. News just coming through on that. Perry injured in the first half, remember. This is O'Driscoll! It's gone through! Oh, he's going! O'Driscoll for the post! Brian O'Driscoll! Oh, you beauty! That is incredible! The restart kick worked well by Ireland. They did well at the restart kick there, but... Uh, it's not the greatest kick that uh, David Humphries has ever done. And here is this quickie, Kevin Morgan going up to his own 10 metres line. Howley waits, Stephen Jones. Now then, 
Williams a bit unlucky and here another chance. If there's a good bounce here, it has got to be a try. A wonderful try for O'Driscoll. Brian O'Driscoll, the hero of the Lions, tour to Australia. And Ireland are out of sight at 27 points to six. I reckon they've only four minutes left. There they are, they're whole holding, but in fact, fed out there. And along the line, all beautifully to O'Driscoll. And that is absolutely brilliant. The missed pass made it. The first try of the day goes to Brian O'Driscoll. His 11th try for Ireland. And it was a beauty. Red path, Townsend, Townsend to McLaren. McLaren taking it back to the forwards. He's a great big uh, fellow, almost 17 stones worth. Out there to Buller. Buller to Pumpney. Ireland have uh, covered that corner though. Red path. Laney, Townsend. That's wild enough to be an Irish breakaway here. And it is going to be. I don't think anybody's going to catch a Bristol. It's a magnificent run all the way. And the whole of Lansdowne Road is on his feet. Bristol's second try. Another lovely pass that time by Stringer off his right hand. Here's the clean breakthrough, and guess who? The man himself, O'Driscoll, who's just been appointed the Lloyds DSB man of the match. Brian O'Driscoll with his third try. He did the same against France not so long ago. And what a star performance it's been. Look at the reaction of the crowd, and watch this. And again from the set piece, it was a wonderful flight of pass. It really confused the Scots defence, because this time... Stay back! Time before the land of the shamrock finds a priceless corner of grass. Trying to slip the ball around the corner. Ireland still have it. They go left. Kelly. Yes, O'Driscoll! Listen to the referee. Watch the first play. The crowd have gone up if he controls it. No doubt. That is try time Ireland. He hasn't scored a try since 2002. With Olivia Manya. Now, what can Ireland do? Costello goes straight to the light man in Michelac. Stringer, Humphreys, the little kick in behind. No, did he get it down? That's try time. I think he's got it down. And it was a good scrum by Ireland, giving the go ball for they wanted. A nudge in behind it. Oh, yeah, that's class. Possession as it is, they've got a defensive line out to deal with. And, and O'Connell, having gathered, will now edge towards the line. That is the try line, and that's O'Connell again, the monsterman. Stringer to O'Gara, O'Driscoll comes inside, skips inside, heads for the line, has he got the ball down? The answer is yes, and gloriously, Ireland have two tries in the opening 15 minutes. That's why he is the best centre in the world, you know, he, he means so much to this Irish side. Enjoying doubtless what Ireland are doing against Wales where Scotland couldn't. Gleeson to O'Driscoll for the corner. And will he score? Of course he will. He's Brian O'Driscoll. It's a sick try. It's a rout already. And we've got over 25 minutes still to go. Ireland are flying. So Driscoll is lined up at 12, Max outside him, Duffy and Howe out wide. Taken by the forwards, and Boren comes round on the peel. Evades the first tackle. East to beat Humphreys. Dab through, O'Driscoll's after it! O'Driscoll has got it! Oh, brilliant! That's, that's a great score by O'Driscoll. Great vision by Humphreys as well. Clean ball for the Irish backs. O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll makes the break. 
He must go on his own. The brilliance of Brian O'Driscoll. Since took the field was about the inexperience of some of the players at this level. Stringer to Wallace spins away. Murphy again has made an impact since coming on. Darcy, O'Gara, ball to O'Driscoll and scores! Oh, you cannot give them an inch. And Brian O'Driscoll has Ireland back ahead. Stringer busy in again. O'Gara puts it wide. They've got space if they can get away. O'Driscoll does just that. Oh, and away goes Gervin Dempsey. Stringer back in place. Oh, the chip and go from O'Driscoll, the captain. Is he going to open the campaign? He is indeed. What a start. Remember, he was in doubt for this game oh. with that sinus injury. But uh, what a way to kick off his campaign, Murray. Well, snapped up by Argentina. But Ireland have won it again. There's O'Gara. There's O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll through. Ireland have scored. Well, that's just what Ireland needed. Flannery to the tail to O'Callaghan. Redden. On the Guinness Premiership with Austria. Oh, fantastic. Following up by Dennis Levy. Grasping it with one hand. Paddy Wallace, the floated ball to Rob. Carney again. Maybe look forward. Tommy Bow runs for the line. Bow has a lot of pace. They must get their Shuri. And O'Driscoll grounds the ball and scores his first try since he touched down against Argentina in the World Cup. Paul O'Connell with line-out ball. Beautiful break round of Driscoll. Vintage of Driscoll. Ireland, whatever he might play, will all set to France counts for nothing because the Irish captain has ripped them apart. Wow, this is if you turn the clock back a couple of years, isn't it? That's what Irish crowds have been missing without Brian O'Driscoll. He has still been Ireland's top try scorer of the last couple of years, but it's that kind of searing break straight from a second. And the man rising highest there for the ball is um, Malcolm O'Kelly. Which will mean that uh, John Hayes will be in a rare rage this evening because um, he's suddenly not level with him as Ireland's most capped player. But perhaps that will come in the meantime. Brian O'Driscoll has a run in for the line. And this will give the scoreline a sheen it perhaps doesn't deserve. But there's no question that Ireland, even in second or third gear today, have been much the better team. And O'Driscoll just emphasises that with the fifth try. Yeah, as well, as we said earlier on with the contest, largely over by 45. Tackle on him by Ryan Jones, Ireland, that close. Hands away, referee! Tomas O'Leary. That is Brian O'Driscoll playing scrum half, and another little thrust, and that... Time out. Time off. Remain binder here, can you tell me if that is a try, yes or no? Straightforward question, was there a try? Well, that's very interesting because we saw no apparent celebration by anybody on the other side. That's Brian O'Driscoll going through. He's met by Matthew Reese from here. Yes. It's a try. Oh, yes. 
Mike Phillips, Stephen Jones, now taking it in. Good hard work, Tommy Bow, the offload, the good one, and just go out. Try number two. Way, way too easy. The hard work, the foundation laid by the forwards, the space out wide, and classy finishing from Brian O'Driscoll. Yeah, but I just wanted quicker in a way. O'Leary's feed again, Ireland scrum comes up, pressure, but they manage to get the ball away, and O'Driscoll! Brian O'Driscoll! The captain under the post, and that surely is seven points secured, and a draw in Crow Park. The scrum came under pressure, but he slipping O'Leary did enough. Ford, and up goes he slipping Ireland disrupt. They haven't lost many Scotland in the Six Nations, but Ireland, for me, have the best line out in the Six Nations. Sexton, Wallace. No hands. O'Leary. Darcy Sexton on the loop, lovely play from Johnny Sexton, he's clean through and he's got O'Driscoll on his shoulder. O'Driscoll! Brian O'Driscoll gets his try on the final day of action at Croke Park. And you had a feeling that it might just happen today for him. Well, that's having to defend Grimley here, here's O'Leary. As it goes to Darcy. Getting ever so closer, diving for the line, and the arms are in the air. And uh, Brian O'Driscoll has got the try. Sexton to big Devon Toner. Brian O'Driscoll outside Redden. Sexton outside O'Driscoll. Rob Carney. He's the card pick up, beautiful pick up. The referee hasn't awarded the try yet. You see a knock on there? No, no knock try. on. <laughs> Brian O'Driscoll will have to wait to see if he has been awarded the try. Well, he was certainly over the line. He's going to check the grinding, you'd think. Hugh Watkins of Wales now comes into his own. Beautifully played off, and well, what a yeah, Kalos tackles him off the ball. What a pick up on the run by Brian O'Driscoll, and that's a try. Yeah, there won't be much time.